My name is Thomas Chub, I'm the farm manager for Penny Cacao. As you can see here, we have 30 acres of cacao of land. But right now we only have 22 acres planted with cacao. As you can see here, we didn't have cacao planted up the hill. But to the back, we have the cacao that planted. There's where the guys do their work, the, the harvesting of the cacao pod. This is, this is our cacao pod and um, this has been harvested from this Penny Cacao farm plantation. So what we do on harvesting time, we have it piled up like this, we collect all the product and then we set it on a, on a specific area and from there when it's time to start to harvest, we just get a stick like this. Usually it's been tradition from all the peoples that we, we maintain to get. So we hold the pod and we break it like this. This is how we uh, do it all the time. So you know, you don't cut the beans, you don't hurt the beans. So it's naturally been broke open and then we put it into the bucket and the whole process of doing this is we get a bucket and we see that there is no beans within the inside that's been left behind and we throw this and then we do this. This is how we, we um, get the beans out from the pod. And eventually there is, if you can see, there is nothing remaining inside. We extracted all the beans and the beans goes into the bucket. And from there on, when the bucket is full, we go on to the fermentation area and there is another individual who does do the fermentation. Guys, behind me is the fermentation process area. It's December right now, so we're not at peak production. That's April and May. At April, May, this place will be bustling. They'll have everything packed in here. This farm is three years old. When it hits eight years old, that's the maximum production where it's gonna plateau out and produce more cacao for 25 years. So this is the next phase of the process, and let's check it out. Okay, here we have the fermenting processing start. As you can see from here now, we have the beans in the batch. This beans was set here from yesterday. But this beans came from the farm and set it in the fermentation box. So over here we have uh, fermented and dried cacao beans. It's four days in the drying process. We've got about two more days to go. And as you can see, they're coming out very well. Per perfect beans. Um, and these beans are a mixture of of many Trinitario type of cacao. In the early 1970s, when uh, they imported many planting materials of cacao from Dominican Republic, Costa Rica, Trinidad and Tobago, no one kept record of the types and or varietals of those Trinitario cacao. And they were just widely distributed to approximately 200 growers in the, in the Toledo district. And when those trees were planted, uh, they never kept record. And that's the reason why today, we have so many mixtures and, uh, and these mixtures have different flavor characteristics that together combined, they make what I refer to as the Belize blend cacao. So guys, we made it to the factory now. We're here with the master chocolatier, Felipe, and of course the number one helper in the game, Liam. And we're gonna see the first phase of making chocolate. I don't know what to expect, but soon I'm gonna have Willy Wonka's chocolate factory firing on all cylinders. Tell us about it, Liam, next week, man. Okay, so welcome once again. Here we will be starting with the selecting of the beans that will be going into our chocolate. So first of all, we need to analyze what beans we have here. So that's some now. That song will tell you that it's dry enough, the husk of the bean is dry enough. So it's pretty hard to be able to take off the margin. So here we go. We got one. Yeah, so we will be taking off these beans here, germinating the cacao beans with some holes on the edge here. That's how that we get to the from the back. Now that we have carefully selected the good beans, we will be adding it into okay, the rice here. And coming around. And transferring it. So After we have roasted, we let them sit on our racks for five minutes. Once they have cooled, and then we move them and add them to containers. If we won't crack immediately, then we will let them be airtight. Okay. Once we have done that, then we will proceed to crack. This will crack the cacao beans and should separate nibs along with the shells. So here we go, we will start the cracker. We got our nibs. Now our nibs. Let's see here for you guys to see. That's the good stuff right there. We're adding the nibs. This is 
50% fat? Yes, it is. It's 100% delicious. Once we have added our cacao mass in within this refiner, we'll be refining it for 24 hours. After 24 hours, we'll be deciding what we will use the cacao decor for. If we will use it for a butter press, then we will extract our amount and we will be using the butter press machine. In this case, we'll be using the cacao mass in here for chocolate making purpose. So after the 24 hours, uh, we'll be extracting the decor from here and uh, adding the decor inside these refiners. And we will refine again for another 48 hours. Final step here. What, what's going on with this machine, please? So this is the tempering stage here. This is where we make the chocolate decor into bars. So tempering is the heating and cooling of chocolate. Once we have refined for 48 hours in our refining stage, we extract the chocolate, fresh from the refiners, okay. and bring it up here. The tempering stage is a heating point of dark chocolate, which is 118 Fahrenheit, and the cooling stage goes up to 86 Fahrenheit. So our objective here, we have a machine, a cell machine. So we add hot chocolate in this machine, and we temper it. So after 20 minutes, it's tempered chocolate. Once it's tempered, then we proceed to mold. So let's keep the press. Okay. Press to the press, and then we can keep going. Press it on. Press it on. Uno, dos, dos and tres. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Almost. Okay. So let's put it there and then let it uh, spread even. So there, here we have a vibrating clip and that will uh, take out excess bubbles in within the chocolate. So that will be it. Oh, wow. And uh, look at how that vibrating clay works. You set it down? Set it down. You see the chocolate spreading right away. Okay, let's see how we did guys. It's time, moment of truth. Pulling it out, there we go. Judging by the quality, this was probably not one I made. Set it down, now we're gonna bring it over here and somehow gently flip this over and just like that. So this is the technique that we use to wrap our chocolate. Okay. We will fold from the bottom okay. and fold on the top. Then we will hold it so we will assure that the wrapper is tight around the chocolate. And then we will take all these edges here, this tip here. We will put it in line with the chocolate bars here, up to there. And crease and we flip it here. So we repeat on the other side. One bar. I made chocolate, yay!